Hi YouTube, it's Andrew from moneymental.co.uk here, the website dedicated to money and mental health. Uh, I'm coming at you today with an eBay sales update where I've just picked out a selection of my sales. Um, I think from week commencing, I'll get the date for you, I'm a bit behind, week commencing 11th of February. Um, yeah, so I'll pick out a selection of sales from week commencing 11th of February. I'll tell you what I paid for them, where I got them from show you how much I sold it for and give you a rough indication of the kind of profit I saw. Um, the sales I pick, as I say, is just a collection. I tend to pick out sales that have got a bit of a story behind them or can help give new information to um, to people watching the channel who are considering or already resellers. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into the first sale. Um, and here we have a um, bread and butter item for me, a Boppet Extreme 2. Um, pick this up. Uh, cost about three pound fifty in a charity shop. Um, put it up for nineteen ninety nine, which is quite high for a bop it. But I always tend to try and list my stuff quite high, um, and I took an offer of fifteen pounds for it. Um, so more than happy with that. So return um, three fifty into fifteen, probably about six seven pound return, um, which is okay for a bop it at this time of year. Um, it was actually part of my three thousand pound charity shop challenge, um, which. If you're not aware of um is where basically i've taken 100 pounds or 80 pounds at the time and i've invested it into um stock bought purely from purely from charity shops and i am um, uh, then selling that stock on ebay and reinvesting 50 percent of the money from it back into buying more stock uh, the profit sorry and the original cost of stock and then 50 percent of the remaining profit is going into savings account um, gradually building up towards a figure of three thousand pounds in savings so i can have a holiday to america um yeah and that's obviously after fees and tax and everything else that i work out those figures so do look out for those videos if you're a subscriber to the channel and if you're not a subscriber please do feel free to subscribe and um like and comment and tick the notification bell below to get alerts and all that kind of fun stuff you know that um, everyone on youtube is asking for these days Anyway, next sale, good piece of retail arbitrage here. This is a Yakobi chocolate that cost 99 pence. I chucked in a shaker that I had spare from shipping out some other um, Yakobis. Some of the Yakobis I bought came with shakers. Um, so yeah, this cost me 99 pence. I sold it for £9.99, including shipping. Um, probably about a £5 profit in it, but that's good for a piece of retail arbitrage for me. So I'm... Uh, very happy about that. Uh, next, car boot pickup. I uh, picked these up, these brand new Primark uh, Hogwarts um, signs for a pound. Um, had them listed for a while, plenty of watches, a few low ball offers. Um, eventually, an offer came through which I just negotiated upwards to £10 and got shot of it. So I made about four, five pound profit on it, uh, which is okay. Probably could have got a bit more if I'd hold on, held on, but. I'm just happy to get them out of the house. Um, so yeah, nice little return there in the end. Um, four or five times is a good return in my, my sort of vocabulary really. Um, and uh, good feedback received from the buyer as well, which is an even better bonus. Close that one. Yeah, and this is just me getting rid of some short dated Yukobi stock that I had. Um, all three of these with shakers were due to run out in April, it's February, so I figured I'll just bundle them all together and list them at £15. It cost 99p each. Uh, I took an offer, I think, in the end, um, £10 just to get them out of the house. Uh, got my money back and made a couple of pounds profit along the way. So, always worth considering if you've got stuff that's coming towards the end of its life, bundle it together and, uh, yeah, you will get a sale. Um, yeah, I put there that it's normally RRP is 80 it's expired it was the 18th of uh, April so it's all there in the description um, so yeah just happy to get that uh, gone and make a bit of profit uh, and then these uh, actualized medical fat binders sachets that I've been picking up from home bargains for 7 99 and selling for 16 uh, making five pound profit on each pack I mean it's okay they're consistent sellers they've been going well for me they're expensive to buy in the first place Lots of eBay sellers have got one for nine ninety nine. Um, I don't know why, because they're probably not making any profit at that price. Or if they do, it's only a few pence. I've listed them high and gone for having a quality listing, um, which, as you can see here, got all the details taken from the uh, manufacturer's website. So having a quality listing, lots of information filled out, can help sell your product, 
at a higher price. Uh, next, these are becoming a sort of bread and butter pickup for me. Uh, this Barbie uh, convertible, cost me one pound. Um, took lots of pictures of it from every sort of angle. It's a sparkly one, that's why you can see dots on there. Um, yeah, cost a pound um, from a uh, sort of Chuck Baby and Children's sort of tabletop sale. Um, sold for 14 99 including shipping. Uh, made about eight, nine pounds profit on that, so I'm happy, for, happy with that. If I see these for a pound or two, I'll always pick them up, sometimes more if they're, if they're older. And this, another car boot pickup, fantastic four figure. Uh, mint in box um, and a bit of creasing to it as you can see um, but yeah um, it was still working it's still lit up and everything's supposed to lit up it's the human torch and yeah that cost me two pounds for the car boot that sold for 19.99 including shipping um, so i made about 12 13 pound profit on that so a really good return um, i didn't even bother looking it up when i saw it i just grabbed it i knew i'd get I'd get decent money because I sell these fantastic four figures quite regularly when I see them. So yeah, really pleased with that. And then here, a Dinky Shadow 2. Um, this is the third Dinky Shadow 2 I've sold. Um, I don't know, they seem to be everywhere. Um, this one is in a really poor state. It only cost me £4. But it was, I, I, don't, I didn't even take the best pictures of it either. Some of them are a bit blurry. This is my new photo stage currently, the uh, the kitchen. Um, because I'm running out of space, but yeah, it's missing its missile. I had lots of wear to the paint. The the signs were sort of, you know, sort of pick, uh, sort of coming loose. The stickers on the side, missing its tracks. So it was for restoration, as I described it. Um, gave it an accurate description and took, well, say accurate description. Said it's for restoration. Took pictures and just referred the buyer to have a look at the photos there, and here. Uh, buy I paid £19.99 for it, cost me £4. With shipping is still probably about a £10 profit. So I'm 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 happy with that return, it's a good return. Uh, maybe 9 50 but yeah, um really happy with that return. Um considering the uh, the sort of the poor state of it. Um and yeah, it uh, had positive feedback from the buyer, he was happy with his purchase, so um all good. Um but yeah, definitely, if you can get these bit Shadow 2s, um, even in this sort of poor condition, well worth looking out for. There's a definite market for these. As I say, I've sold three now. First one I sold for £50. It was mint. It was in great condition. Um, two of those are spares and repairs for restoration. Sold for £20 each. So, the other one, in fact, during this week. But I, there's no point me showing you that one because you've already seen this one. And then next, just to show that media can sell. Um, if you get sort of decent box sets this is the box of the band uh, box set it's a seven disc box, box set it wasn't in the greatest condition to be honest um, you know had age related marks and wear to it which I did declare and obviously showed in the photos where I could um, but it had seven good films in it um, that had originally been sort of banned in the cinema so picked it up I think it was either 50p or a pound from the charity shop Unfortunately, it was just too thick to go with large letter, um, so I had to go through uh, my Hermes. So it cost about three pounds to ship, or just under uh, two seventy nine, I think. Um, so yeah, take off the cost of it and the shipping, it's still probably about six seven pound profit. So you know, I'm happy with that, and it's sold within a week or two of being listed as well. So it didn't take too long to go. And this is something I have had for absolutely ages. Picked up in a charity shop at two pounds. Basically, lets you play um, NTSC uh, games on the Nintendo Wii. Um, and uh, yeah, um, two pound in charity shop. Um, I had it on all kinds of prices, even as low as eight ninety nine. I think at one price place one uh, one time with free shipping. But um, yeah, it sold in the end for eleven ninety nine, uh, and actually it says free shipping, but it went abroad to Germany. Um, so the buyer paid international shipping on top. So I made a little bit on that as well. Uh, total profit on this at the end was £8. So i um, happy with that. But yeah, I don't know if I'd pick it up again given how long it um, spent, a, you know, how long it spent um, before it sold, how long it took. I know, weirdly, it, the last time we listed it, it sold in two days, this German buyer. So maybe that was just luck, I don't know. And then here, a good piece of retail arbitrage. 
This Jurassic World Battle action figure, Lockwood Battle Owen. Cost one ninety nine home bargains. I think you probably still get it in home bargains for one ninety nine as well. Sold for the full asking price of fourteen ninety nine, including shipping. Um, shipped as a uh, small parcel. Um, nicely wrapped and everything. And um, I think we've had positive feedback already from the buyer, but yeah, it's about an eight nine pound profit in that. So I'm I'm happy I'll take that kind of return on retail arbitrage all day long. Uh, this another piece of retail arbitrage, um, sold for. It says eight ninety nine there. It was actually nine ninety nine that it sold for. It's just in the last one's in the ten percent off sale. Um, yeah, so I picked this up two pound fifty. Um, it cost me in um, Sainsbury's sale, and yeah, two pound fifty is probably about the profit I made on it as well. So I probably wouldn't bother with this again, but it was dead easy to list. Um, and yeah, I've sold one, which is covered the cost of the other one, and then whatever I sell that for profit then so yeah happy uh, this just an xbox wrestlemania game um, picked it up as part of a bundle of games from uh, car boot probably cost me about a pound sold for 3.99 plus two pounds just included it to show that um, sports games do sell um, i've got a couple of others as well which i'll probably just bundle up now uh, but yeah you can you can sell these sport games but um, with the gamecube's a bit rarer but so that probably helped itself, but um, you can sell them, you just won't get the best price. Um, 3 99 plus £2 shipping is actually probably pushing the bounds of the market. I think it normally sells for £3.99 without shipping. Um, so I've got a good price there and a couple of pounds profit. Uh, here we've got the first use of Manny the Mannequin. Uh, you can see Manny there um, to sell. I should have cropped that photo, I don't know why I haven't cropped that. Well, there's a crop to sell this um, officially licensed Football Association of Wales jacket. The lighting is terrible because I do this in literally the only space I had, uh, which is underneath quite a bright light now, um, indoors with no windows. But yeah, it worked. Um, this cost me 99 pence in the local charity shop. Um, couldn't find it, anything like this ever been sold on eBay before, so I just pulled the price out at 19 um, it's quite rare to officially licensed FAW thing. FAW stands for Football Association of Wales, if you're not a football fan. Um, so yeah, I thought, given this rarity, I'll put it up for 19.99, including shipping, uh, which gave me a good £15, £14, £15 profit. And uh, yeah, obviously, I also took the time to measure it as well to confirm its pit-to-pit -pit size. So yeah, the buyers had it, and uh, all is good. And this, a bit of a fail for me. Um, this is the Dora Shoots and Ladders, Snakes and Ladders game. Picked it up for 149 in the charity shop. Didn't check the contents, I think, probably because the box was sealed. Got it home, found the instructions were missing. Uh, so that turned it from being a sort of 11.99 sale into um, something I had to list for 9.99. And open to sell it in quarter four and it didn't and eventually I got an offer of seven pounds which I accepted and it gave me a pound or either a 50p or a pound profit plus you know my money back so happy to sell it happy to get a profit happy to get rid of it um yeah try and check the ball games if you can um try and avoid stuff like this as well actually because it's just it's not a good seller so yeah lesson learned there and this really good pickup, um, two pound ninety nine in the charity shop. Um, they do electricals. You can see again the kitchen here is with my eBay tape is the surface I'm using. Um, so yeah, the pictures not great at the minute. Once I've sorted out my storage situation and everything, we will be moving towards a more professional picture taking and lighting setup. But that's for the future. For the minute, I'm sort of make do amend. So yeah. Cost two pound ninety nine for the charity shop. Sold for twenty two ninety nine. Well worth looking out for these. It was fully pat tested by the charity shop. It was working and everything like that was confirmed. So it's dead easy. When I was in there, I saw it. I thought it's the kind of thing that might have a market. Um, and it turns out it did. Um, I pushed the prices a bit as well because um, I think they normally go for about twenty pounds. 
but yeah plenty of pictures and um, lots of information in the description all sort of helps it sell again so yeah even though the pictures aren't great there's a lot of them to the buyers well sort of situated on what they're going to get and actually it was in really good condition didn't look like it'd ever be used so you know i was able to say that it was in very good condition as well which i think helped itself and i included as best i could a picture of it actually pumping out the heat so um yeah all is good on that one 2.99 to 22.99 probably about 15 16 pound profit on that so that's the kind of profit i'm i'm aiming for i'm aiming for at least 10 pound profit on each item that sells moving forward um unless it's um stuff i can pick up very very cheaply but yeah by and large i'm, I'm trying to aim to move towards a sort of 10 pound and more profit model um it's going to take a few months to get there i've got a lot of stock to to shift in the meantime but i'm certainly hoping by the time you're watching these next year everything i'm showing you is going to have at least a 10 pound profit on it Uh, next another really good pickup back on the kitchen again on the worktop um, this was a Kodak easy share um, digital camera with a printer dock um, fully tested and working I you could see I sort of took photos showing it sort of working and everything um, it was in the camera was in immaculate condition the printer had obviously been used and, and was I've been sat on a shelf for a while because it's quite dusty, so I cleaned it all up as best I could. Had all the manuals, discs, and everything it needed with it. It was good to go. Box was in a bit of a state. Um, as you can see, I took a picture here just to show that. Um, always try and take your um, sort of pictures of any damage, etc., make them as your sort of last pictures, not to confuse the buyer or, or hide them from the buyer but purely because you can then reference in the description that the last picture shows the state um, which I haven't done normally I would put as shown in the last pictures um, so I've missed that out uh, that word when I typed that but yeah it's there in the description anyway the photos are there um, and lots and lots of information in the product features um, thanks to the eBay product catalogue which meant that it probably um, listed quite high in the search results was because the more specifics you've got the higher you will rank in the search results on ebay but yeah had this listed for 39.99 free shipping had a message from a prospective purchaser saying it was her niece's birthday in a few days could i ship it out um sort of for you know priority shipping next day delivery whatever 24 hours uh, which was more than happy to do um because the buyer said that she was prepared to pay for the shipping on that basis so the uh, reason it says 47.99 is because i had an extra eight pounds to cover the cost of that that shipping which i think was about 7.39 in the end um but yeah the extra 60p just sort of goes towards the ebay fees and whatever you know i was happy um it cost me five pounds in the car boot sale um originally said 15 on it as well so um i don't know what happens at 15 label whether they tried to sell it before or what and hadn't got it but yeah um at 15 it's still a good return but at five pounds it's absolute steal and that made me about well over 30 pounds in profit so really pleased with that um i've been sat on it for ages just hadn't wanted to list it because i don't know a bit of a fear factor maybe a bit of anxiety around getting it shipped but then I started watching some videos from George Ross, who I've mentioned before, at Retro Reselling, which is a great channel to subscribe to. And he was showing how he packages items. And um, I was, you know, obviously didn't have that, seems to have that fear factor anymore in terms of picking up and, and shipping these high value items. So I'm following his example. It's worked out for me. I know George subscribes. So, George, if you're watching this, thanks. Um, your tips are definitely helping me, and I'm sure they're helping others as well. And then next. This um, is another um, £3,000 charity shop sale. Um, I've included this even just to point out the fact that I completely neglected to include any photos in it. And it still sold for eleven ninety nine. Um, it was really bad because uh, it was just the two discs. Uh, I even said as pictured. I did take the pictures. I just forgot to upload them. Um, but the buyers had it. And... Um, no, with no problems and such like so 
they'd obviously read the description to see what they were getting. Um, it's even funnier because I'd actually I'd had a look through solds before I bought this and I'd spotted that an item that sold had the, the wrong game disc with it in the picture. So I remember when I was showing my whole video for the charity shop challenge saying I won't be making the same mistake and I was right, I didn't make the same mistake, I made a completely different one instead and not put any photos up. So there you go. Lesson learned, always check your, le your listings to make sure you put the proper photos in. And then final item I wanted to include is this Shrek 2 Donkey Plush. Um, just to say this is something to work. I, I, I seem to really struggle to sell plushies but this one just flew out well I say flew out went in a week of listing um, which for me is a miracle on a plush this cost 199 in a charity shop and I pushed the uh, price up to the top end of what these things have been going for this is a sort of December price 13.99 and I thought I'll just go for it and see what happens and somebody paid 13.99 for it so I uh, shipped that um, small parcel I made about seven or eight pounds profit on it nice sale to end the week on um, so yeah, definitely look out for these Shrek 2, Shrek 3, Shrek plushies in general because there does seem to be some value attached to them so if you can get them for 50p a pound or whatever, you will make some money. £2 is paying up a bit, but I knew I was going to make money on it and I did, so happy to do that. Anyway, that's it from me for now. Um, hopefully you found this video useful. As I say, if you have, please do get a thumbs up and a like. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do do subscribe because i'm trying to build up the subscribers and thank you to the 300 plus people now who have subscribed as well um it really does give me a sort of positive encouragement and, and helps me continue making these videos if you enjoyed it please comment below as well and um as i say if you've subscribed and don't get alerts please do um hit the bell below and you will then get notifications of when i post new content anyway that's all thanks for watching and bye for now